must be need for wider consultation. But the arrangement of the party is supreme, and the party's decision was full of wisdom in the fact that they honored their promises of building a politics of national performance and the government of national competence. Our target is to ensure that the zone where we have influence, especially the Northwest, is properly accommodated and compensated with the right reward for their contribution to our victory so that we can have subsequent victories. All right, so are you confident that Senator Audrey Zokalo will withdraw from the race? Because he's... I am 100% confident because Senator Audrey Zokalo has shown um, Yes, he's, he's qualified. Nobody's saying that he's not eminently qualified. Of course, of course. Although, when you are trying to consider the politics of um, national uh, performance, so, uh, you will see that the performance uh, from Southeast is considerably very low. You know, uh, Moju Zokalu uh, got 47,000 votes to come back to the Senate, but the entire APC in Ibia got 9,000 votes. And that, that is, that is uh, completely something that should be disincentivized. So, and. Um, he should, he should like these votes we got from Senator Barod Jibrin, for instance, in Cano North, is almost twice the entire votes we got from the Southeast. You know, so so I think um, he should also uh, find a way to organize the Southeast uh, Cocoa so that they can uh, uh, mainstream within the APC strongly. You know, uh, in the subsequent election for this kind of negotiation to have very strong uh, footing. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, the game is the game, and that is politics for you. Pure game, very. Uh, it's a game. It's a game. It's quite fortunate, but it's the game. And then politics is uh, the bargain negotiations of who get what, what get what, what comes here, and all that. And that's why we we'll keep preaching the gospel of allowing politicians who are saying who put competence before any other thing, who put capacity, character before any other thing. This is what we meant. And now we are hearing that the APC is now playing the politics of national performance over the politics of competence. And so they don't care. The, 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 the first rule is what did you score? What did you give to the party? What did you give to the party? And that's the first rule. That's the first line. So it's not about whether you are qualified first, whether or not you have the credibility, whether you have the character, whether you're able to write along. Suppose we are discussing the National Assembly, a very important organ in this particular democracy. And then they are discussing the National Assembly as if it's a it's not as if it is now all, all all the years we have seen a rubber stamp group of persons that approves they are discussing 800 million dollars couple of days to the end of an uh, of an administration as a loan for what exactly take home package go and li listen to what's happening in different house of assembly in a uh, uh, in state the performing governor those of you performing it's been it's been allocated billions of naira i think about two billion naira as his take home package for doing well for the ordinary man on the street that labored and sweat for the election of that man probably would not have benefited from his government because he would either have embarked on elephant projects or projects that do not resonate with the solutions of the problem or the problems of the people. That's it. Politics of national performance. No wonder Ashomole said it a while ago while he was in a town hall meeting with APC steward in those state. That before they will do anything in this next government, in this government, they will ask, go and bring your word result. <laughs> it's not about your certificate, too. it's not about the input, it's not about the impact, it's not about the trust that you are ready to deliver. Go and bring your word result. And if we even want to contest that, how does people like Fessor Skeyamu that could not win their polling unit stand up? The national chairman could even win his polling unit, but he's here. You see the problem, the contradictions everywhere. Contradictions. Talking about a national assembly is supposed to be a checkmating factor, a huge. Check me, check and balancing institution. We are discussing there's, there's an endorsement. And so when you get the president elect to endorse you, how do you hope to even checkmate? Every loan will be approved. Everybody sent into the sent in for very for, for, for screening will be approved because you, you probably did not deserve it in the first place. This is what we have been saying now. Alice is getting clearer. National national performance. Thank God, Southeastern, as you are seeing it now, they have dragged to the cleaners. You don't deserve it. Or do you call us to go and sleep? He's not my, I don't speak for him. He's not my friend. I don't like him. He should go and sleep indeed. He should go and sleep. You have heard it. You have seen them saying, Or do you should go and sleep? The Southeast. It means, therefore, that in this present government, the Southeast will even be very limited. You will not get. Remember that there was. I want some of you begin to play this nonsense talk and say, Oh, this is it. This is it. Remember that there, there was a South South president in this country that was in power for six years. What did we benefit? Do we have roads in the South South? 
the Bini Auchi Okene Lokoja Abuja Express Road. The B, the Dosta part of it yet to be to, to, to not not up to fifty percent of it. Yet there was a South South president. You think you think that because because the, the, you have a principal officer from a region to benefit you, it will not. The longer short is that they are the ones benefiting. The benefit is for them, the politicians, not us. So don't ever think. Those of you that are singing that Bob you, oh, he, he's from your state, from a region. He does it. If we had a president that could not better the lots of Nigeria, especially those in his region, what is going to benefit you? The politics of money exchanging hands. Go and sleep. You're fortunate. That's what I'm going to say. God forbid this government because of gain. This is putting their foot in a very wrong pedal. This, this is how Buhari failed. Engaging nuisance, engaging people with that character, credibility, and even capacity to deliver the result. That was how he failed. Put his old generation of gentle crazy and all these old old men and pack them into governors without qualification, without result, without impute. And now you see the government. This is how Tinubu is going now. God forbid this government. Share this video. Let this be an opener to all Nigerians to realize that this one, this one, I said it before, a Tinubu government will apologize to Buhari for thinking he was a failure. This will be failure pro mass. Good night. But the arrangement of the party is supreme. And the party's decision was full of wisdom in the fact that they honored their promises of building a politics of national performance and the government of national competence. Our target is to ensure that the zone where we have influence, especially the Northwest, is properly accommodated and compensated with the right reward for their contribution to our victory so that we can have subsequent victories. That's the whole thing. And in the wisdom of the party, this thing is properly considered. A deputy Senate president was given to the Northwest and a speaker of House of Representatives was also apportioned to the Northwest. So when you look at this, we have succeeded in consolidating the promise of government or, 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 or politics of national performance. That we believe is an incentive to encourage all other regions in subsequent elections to work harder to perform better so that we can always, the party can always consider them in any apportioning of positions. A situation whereby we don't incentivize the areas where we have the massive amount of votes. We might not come back to them tomorrow and say, you've given us, we've given you, now we need you more. So this is as simple as that. And that is why we, as loyal party men, me, you know, and our, our principal and distinguished Senator Barod Jibreel, completely aligned behind the decision of the party. You know, and the, and the endorsement of President-elect, Metinibu. Why? Because we want national stability. We want everybody to feel represented. We want all organs of government, all, 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 all regions of the country to be part and parcel within the making of the system. Now we have the uh, Senate President coming from the South South, Deputy coming from the Northwest. We have Speaker coming from the Northwest. We have Deputy um, Speaker coming from the um, Southeast. We have Vice President coming from the Northeast. We have President coming from the um, Southwest. And we have the National Chairman of the party coming from the um, North Central. I, the second thing again about North Central, I think among all the uh, equations, you know, in power balancing system, North Central is more sure than the South, than the South, South, Southeast, and even the Northwest. Apart from the president elect who come from the southwest and the vice president elect who come from the northeast, it's only the north central that have the national chairman of the party. And we shouldn't be discounting the position of national chairman of the party because that's a very powerful, credible, influential position within the making of a democratic system. So they already have someone, the national chairman of the party. Maybe in the second round of the reallocations, where you now begin to apportion the principal leadership of the National Assembly and the government structures like the SGA, like the head of service, and some other principal officers within the executive government, then within this distribution again in the second round, maybe they get something. But for now, not central has something. And that is the national chairman of the party. And the national chairman of the party, don't forget, um, distinguished Senator Abdullah Adam was just nominated. You know, he was just elected as the national chairman of the party during the last convention in 2012, in 2022. So we shouldn't be saying that they are left out. They are actually at the center. In fact, they are more sure, as I'm saying, than the northeast, they are more sure than the northwest, the south-south, and the southeast. Why? Because they already have a presiding officer within the political setting of the country. So, so I think uh, the agitation was just... Um,
It's natural within democracy. It's natural people will want to voice their opinion. It's natural they will want to belong. It's natural some of them are negotiating for other juicier committees. It's natural some of them are negotiating some interest within the government so they come out, you know, aspire for the Senate presidency, you know, so that the conciliation bag, uh, basket can be wider, <laughs> you know. So perhaps maybe that's what it is. But for now, this country has a more stable structural political leadership than we have ever seen and i believe all other necessary political calculation to balance the equation has been established and that is why i say there is a wisdom behind the name of national stability group because to me is bringing huge stability why do i say so we don't have only the senators of apc endorsing akpabio um barao jibrin's ticket yesterday at the media party we have two senators from the labor party that endorsed Akpabio Barrow Dibrin ticket. We have a senator from NNPP in Kano endorsing the same ticket. We have a senator from PDP endorsing the same Senate. We have two senators from SDP endorsing the same stability group. What are we waiting for? Okay, it has already been consolidated. We already have a clear incoming Senate president in Senator Gozul Akpabio and the incoming um, deputy Senate president in um, the Senator Baro Jibril. So I think um, um, we, we, just, we just need to consolidate all our interests. But um, this, this is very clear that uh, the country has taken a shape. There is a considerable trust in the leadership of Asiyo Jubola Metinibu that is bringing every political system in one group so that we can drive a successful government. Is I am 100% confident because Senator Ojuz Akalu has shown, um, yes, he's, he's qualified. Nobody's saying that he's not eminently qualified. Of course, of course, although when you are trying to consider the politics of um, national uh, performance, so, uh, you will see that the performance uh, from Southeast is considerably very low. You know, uh, Moju Zokalu uh, got 47,000 votes to come back to the Senate, but the entire APC in IBA got 9,000 votes, and that, that is, that is uh, completely something that should be disincentivized. So, and um, he, he, he should be like these votes we got from Senator Barao Jibrin, for instance, in Kano North, is almost twice the entire votes we got from the Southeast. You know, so so I think um, he should also uh, find a way to organize the Southeast uh, Coco so that they can uh, uh, mainstream within the APC strongly. You know, uh, in the subsequent election for this kind of negotiation to have very strong uh, footing. Um, uh, that's why I tell you most of these things are just being pushed for negotiation, but they they don't have substance. He's eminently qualified, but the performance, the electoral outcome of his own constituency was considerably low. And if you incentivize failure you are completely encouraging people that do nothing to be entitled to something. And that is not really encouraging in the kind okay. of democracy okay. and the uh, plans of the future government. Yeah.